Hi, my name is Sasha Peckin and I'm a psychologist with the Junction Works. Now I've been working on a program called MindWorks and MindWorks has come based on a number of different experiences that I've had working in the field of disability and one of the biggest experiences that I have had is how do we engage individuals that are very difficult to engage, they don't fit the same process and program in which normal psychologists would, would deliver services. Uh, four walls, one door, having a psychological conversation for an hour. Some clients just don't meet that typical experience and won't benefit from that experience. So MindWorks is a, is a program and a process in which will gauge these individuals who are at the best of times difficult to engage. Now this idea came to me when I was doing some physical exercise with a few of my friends and one of the main things that I realized was after the physical activity we were able to engage in much more stimulating conversations so I went to the textbooks I spoke to some external colleagues and I came to this understanding that what happens if we change the way in which psychological interventions are delivered to specific population groups in order to engage them in a much more meaningful way consists of three main tiers. The first tier which involves some form of physical activity, second tier which involves some form of grounding and then the third tier which is the most important tier that engaging these individuals in some form of therapeutic service, some form of therapeutic discussion and usually you can do it in a group based setting because a group based setting seems to be a much more of a supportive environment, a comfortable environment for these individuals. So tier one specifically involves some form of physical activity anyone that completes physical activity their mind and their body releases feel good chemicals and we're naturally in much more of a better and comfortable place t2 involves some form of grounding whether that is deep breathing meditation mindfulness whatever you want to call it it engages people in their environment in their in their natural environment and takes their attention away from the thoughts that are going on in their mind so what we have is now an individual who has engaged in some form of physical activity then has engaged in some form of grounding techniques are in the moment and their body and their mind are feeling much more uh, in a more comfortable environment in a much more comfortable space so therefore we can move on to T3 engaging these individuals in some form of therapy. One of the things that we see when moving into T3 is an individual who has exercised an individual who has engaged in some form of grounding when you ask them open-ended solution focused questions such as what is the one thing that is getting you angry right now the responses that we would get is along the lines of deep and meaningful traumatic experience deep and meaningful issues that are going on in their lives as opposed to I didn't like the fact that I had wheat bix for breakfast this morning so mind works is a way in which not only can we engage these individuals in some form of therapeutic environment, some form of therapeutic discussion, the responses that we get after engaging in physical activity and some form of deep breathing and mindfulness activity, we're able to get someone who is much more alert, someone who is much more engaging, thus being able to reach further therapeutic outcomes with this population group. And this population group in particular are those individuals who typically have been very difficult to engage. So mind works in a sense is a program and a process that builds on some of the collaborative work we completed last year with Weatherall Park CrossFit at Richmond PRA. And the purpose of MindWorks is to engage individuals in a much more meaningful way. And these individuals are the previous individuals that have been very difficult to engage in any form of psychological intervention. The, the truth of the matter is, in this day and age, psychology needs to evolve. And we need to evolve to a, to a program in which tailors to all, all population groups, whether they have some form of disability or not, as we progress further, we are beginning to realize that traditional psychological techniques do not really cater for the general population and specific population groups. So we need to think outside that box, outside the therapy box of a room for an hour speaking about our issues and begin to deliver services to an individual in a more individualized approach. So if you have any further questions on how to engage individuals that typically have been very difficult to engage with, please contact the Junction Works on 8777 0500. Thanks.